Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of Cruise News. And in today's news, Amsterdam has voted to ban cruise ships. Uh, Royal Caribbean is going to be having Comic-Con coming to one of their ships. And a new carnival ship has hit the water. All of these stories are in today's episode of Cruise News. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the video. If you are new here, please think about hitting that like and subscribe button. I post these cruise news videos every other day, followed by theme park news and the opposite days on top of vlogging. All of our adventures, all of that is on the channel, so make sure you are subscribed. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this video so far, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about today's news stories. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, Carnival's newest ship, the Carnival Jubilee, has left the little, I guess, area it is being worked on. The, uh, the, the warehouse, if you will, uh, and has actually touched water. That means they finished the entire, basically outside, all the support stuff, all that good stuff for the ship. They're just still working on the interior uh, things, getting all that ready. But it is, it is seaworthy as far as at least floating in the water. So that has actually uh, been taken out to the water. It's now just been moved over to one of the piers there so they can finish the uh, inside interior work and all that good stuff. But it did hit water. Like I said, that's the Carnival Jubilee. Um, they uh, had started construction on this probably early 2022. Um, so it's actually, I, they, and I think they rolled it up and they said like a couple days early, I guess because of weather, but it is on water now. Um, and they actually included because this ship will be based at least initially in Galveston, Texas. Um, I'll show a picture here where they actually put the uh, Texas logo on the, uh, on the front of the ship. So uh, yeah, like I said, it'll be based out of Galveston, I think at least until 2024. Um, so its maiden voyage is actually happening this year, December 23rd out of Galveston. Um, and it'll be a, a seven night cruise. That'll be its very first uh, maiden voyage, if you will. Um, I looked it up online. It's quite expensive if you want to go on that maiden voyage. But uh, if you are looking to, to get that, I think there are still some cabins available. Uh, like I said, it's going to be uh, December 23rd, 2023 out of Galveston. Um, but like I said, the, the ship is now, uh, had, you know, been uh, taken out of the, uh, I guess, the dry dock area. Um, and then it is in the water now. And they're just going to obviously finish up all the goodies on the inside, work on the interior, and then have that ready and available for Texas this December. All right. In other cruise news, Amsterdam in the Netherlands, the city council there has taken the first step to uh, eliminate cruise ships from being in the city limits as the city council has voted to ban cruise ships from the city limits. Uh, they said that the reasoning behind this is for environmental reasons and to actually decrease the number of tourists that are uh, around, which is kind of strange. A lot of places usually try to increase uh, tourists if that's if you're a tourist destination, but they're trying to go the opposite way, trying to uh, decrease the uh, amount of tourists. Apparently, this is just the first step in like a many step process um, as far as, you know, actually getting it to be banned on there. So it has it isn't anything that's happened yet um, and it still has to go through a bunch more um, bunch more channels to get to that level. Uh, so a lot of cruise ships, I know a few cruise ships actually have already um, stopped going there because they enacted a tax that was uh, placed on the ships. Um, and if basically if you can't get into Amsterdam anymore, if this does, in fact, actually go all the way through. Uh, the next the nearest ports are a pretty good distance away. You would actually have to bus into Amsterdam from those other ports, which would be like an hour long trip. Um, so, yeah, it's it's interesting because they said that uh, trying to get not as many tourists and pollution. They, they they wanted to, you know, be good stewards of the environment and pollution. But I believe it was the mayor who basically said, well, the cruise ship tourists, you know, when they get here, they're not really spending any money. They're not helping the economy because they're not in, in, in town long enough to go to museums. I guess they just, he said they go to the red light district, so they, they don't spend enough money. So it's it's kind of, I, get, I think the, the, the reason is, oh, for environmental reasons, but the real reason is money, which usually is the case for most things. Um, but we'll see how far that goes. Um, like I said, this is kind of the first step in a, I guess, a multi-step kind of a, a thing that they have to go through to get rid of them, but we shall uh, we shall see. All right, and if you're a nerd and you like going to Comic-Con and you also happen to like cruising, two of the things I like doing, uh, you'll be happy to know that Royal Caribbean is going to have a Comic-Con cruise coming in 2025. This is actually, in fact, sponsored by the people that do the San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, they will be having one. Uh, it's going to be on Serenade of the Seas from Royal Caribbean. Uh, this cruise is going to happen on, uh, excuse me, uh, February 5th of 2025. 
Uh, there's no details on like who, like what celebrities, what stars or anything like that is going to be, obviously, because it's still a while out. Um, but I'm sure that will be coming in the future. But uh, it will have different events. They said that they will have panels, obviously, with the um, celebrities, celebrity panels, Q&A sessions. They will have competitive gaming. I'm not sure if that's like cruise games or competitive gaming, like esports kind of gaming. Didn't really mention that. Um, and it said each night we'll have a themed cosplay party and uh, music from well-known bands. So I guess the bands are going to be semi, at least semi-famous, not just, you know, the regular cruise ship, you know, somebody that's, that's singing songs. Apparently it, will, it, say, it did say well-known bands, so it should be actual artists um, that will be part of that. Um, like I said, that, that is on uh, February, uh, February 5th of 2025. It does sail out of Tampa. Uh, it is a four-night cruise that returns on February 9th. And it makes one uh, port stop in Cozumel, Mexico. Uh, and I believe it said the, uh, the uh, rates for it start at $990 uh, per person. So uh, definitely, obviously more expensive for a four-night cruise than normal. But you do get the added benefit of the celebrities and all that stuff. Which I'm sure, if it's anything like a Comic-Con, that's kind of the base rate. And then if you, if you want your autographs and your pictures and your whatnot, you got to pay extra. Um, but there will be, in fact, like I said, a Comic-Con cruise sponsored by Comic-Con. Uh, that will be going on Royal Caribbean Serenade of the Seas. Like I said, it's going to be 2025, leaving February 5th. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for another episode of Cruise News. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about today's Cruise News stories. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.